Hi fam, welcome to Sacrificial Love where we study the Bible and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Today, we continue with our Christmas special, summarizing the book of Luke, one chapter a day. Welcome to day five, chapter five. Yesterday, we summarized chapter four. In case you missed that, you can always check out this channel for the video. So welcome and stick around till the end. All the quotes or speech I will use in this series will be from the Open English Bible. Please note that this video gives a broad summary of the chapter. I will not go into details. I encourage you to read the Gospel of Luke to get all the details that the writer documented. So, let's continue. When Jesus was standing at the shore of Lake Gennesaret, he saw two boats close to the shore. The fishermen had left them and were washing their nets. So Jesus entered one. It belonged to Simon. He asked Simon to push off away from the shore and sat down and taught the people around him. He said to Simon, Push off into deep water and throw out your nets for a hole. Simon responded, We have been hard at work all night, sir, and we have not caught anything, but at your bidding I will throw out the nets. And so they did, and they caught a lot of fish that their nets began to break. So they asked for help from the fishermen in the other boat. They filled both boats with fish, so much so that they were almost sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he threw himself down at Jesus' knees and said, Master, leave me, for I am a sinful man. He and those who were with him were amazed, including James and John, Zebedee's sons, who were Simon's partners. Jesus told Simon, Do not be afraid. From today you will catch people. When they had brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed Jesus. There was also another instance when Jesus was staying in a town and saw a man who was covered with leprosy. When the leper saw Jesus, he threw himself on his face and asked Jesus for help, saying, Master, if only you are willing, you are able to make me clean. So Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, as he did so, I am willing, become clean. And the man was healed. Jesus told the man not to say a word to anyone, but he added, Set out and show yourself to the priest and make the offerings for your cleansing in the manner directed by Moses as evidence of your cure. However, the news of his healing spread and great crowds gathered around Jesus to listen to him, but Jesus used to go to isolated places to pray. Later in the chapter, we read about Jesus healing a paralyzed man. I have covered this in my previous video on the parables of Jesus. I will leave the link in the description box below for you to check it out. Then Jesus went to Levi's house, a tax gatherer. Levi gave great entertainment at his house in honor of Jesus. The Pharisees and teachers of the law complained about this to the disciples of Jesus. But Jesus told them, It is not those who are well who need a doctor, but those who are ill. I have not come to call the religious, but the outcast, to repent. So they said to Jesus, John's disciples often fast and say prayers, and so do the disciples of the Pharisees, while yours are eating and drinking. Jesus replied, Can you make the groom's friends fast while the groom is with them? But the days will come, a time when the groom will be taken away from them, and they will fast then when those days come. Then, as an illustration, Jesus said to them, No one ever tears a piece from a new garment and puts it on an old one. For if they do, they will not only tear the new garment, but the piece from the new one will not match the old. And no one puts new wine in old wineskins. For if they do, the new wine will burst the skins and the wine itself will run out and the skins will be lost, but the new wine must be put into fresh skins. No one after drinking old wine wishes for new. No, they say, 
the old is excellent. Thanks for taking the time out to watch this video. I appreciate it. See you tomorrow for a summary of Luke chapter 6 and every day after that. And hey, if you are watching a couple of days or months after this series is complete, then keep on watching the rest of the videos lined up. If you like what you see, subscribe, like the video, click the notification bell so that you are informed every time I post a new video. Please feel free to share my video and let's spread the word of God together. God bless you my brothers and sisters in Christ. May you always seek refuge in Him. See you in the next video. Bye.